What's going on guys? I got some tier 1 pickups that I've been gathering. And also a hookup from a YouTuber. Cardcutter23. Garrett, he hit me up, said he had something he wanted to send my way. Haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what's in there. And then also wanted to give a couple shout outs to some new and upcoming YouTubers who I've been enjoying their channels, so figured I'd share them with you guys so you, you guys could check them out as well if you have not yet. But the tier one pickups that I got, starting with this Mike Miner, numbered out of 182. It'll focus on there. He's got two picture variations, so I still got another one I need to pick up. I haven't really been, I've been watching and bidding on a lot of tier one, but they've been going for a lot more than what I thought they would go for. They're usually pretty affordable. And I got this Dusty Baker which I was excited to see that he was going to be in a Braves uniform in this product. He's got two picture variations as well. The other one he's in a Tigers uniform. This one's numbered out of 299. This one I actually was able to get for pretty cheap. But it's always cool to add a new player. This is my first Dusty Baker autograph. It's always cool to get a new player in the collection. And then also picked up from the prodigious patch set this Freddie Freeman numbered out of five with the on-card autograph. Nice patch from the Negro League throwback uniforms of the Atlanta Black Crackers. Which this card went for a lot cheaper. I think if they'd used a nice Braves patch from their uh, regular jersey, I'm sure it would have gone for a lot more. So it's kind of disappointing that it, they did use this jersey, but at the same time, at least I could afford it. Because the John Smoltz from, is in this set as well, and they have some really nice patches in that. And those cards are going for outrageous amounts. But still happy to pick it up. Beautiful card. And then uh, getting into Garrett's package here. Like I said, I have no idea what's in here. Garrett, I really appreciate whatever it is. Just the fact that you thought about me. Looks like there's a couple PSA graded cards in here. Here's a note, Matt. I saw these one day at a card show I was at, and I knew I needed to pick them up for your collection. I like that you appreciate older cards and the older designs, like the 88 Fleer. I do love the 88 Fleer. Hope they fit somewhere in your PC. P.S. Back in the early 90s, I was a big Braves fan. I thought Mark Lemke was a freaking man back then. Mark Lemke is the man. He still does uh, broadcasting for the Braves. So, he does the pregame show. And then sometimes he'll fill in and actually announce the games on the radio. And I loved Mark Lemke, too. He was our Mr. October. But here's the cars that he sent me. We'll start with, with this right here. From 1989 Upper Deck, Mark Lemke Star Rookie. This card is awesome. I loved 89 Upper Deck. First year of Upper Deck. They were way ahead of their times back then. Granted 10, of course, is, is a really nice looking card. That might be my first Limpke rookie card. I'm going to have to go through and see. Well, that's awesome right there. And then the 1988 Fleer Glossy. Jeff Blauser. Which Jeff Blauser has kind of fallen off the face of the earth. I know a lot of guys in the Atlanta area want to get his autograph on some things and nobody can ever find him. Nobody knows what he's doing these days. And this 
this is also a graded tin. The Fleer Glossies are really nice. And I love watching Jeff Blauser, that shortstop growing up. So those are two awesome cards for my rookie card collection. My graded rookie card collection. Appreciate that, Garrett. Y'all go check out Garrett if you don't know him already. He's been around YouTube for a while. So I know most of y'all probably do know him. But uh, a couple shout outs too that I wanted to give some guys that are fairly new. One a little bit newer than the other. Uh, the first guy, his channel is jhayfan22. He's a younger collector that I found through Twitter. Well, actually, I think he started watching my, my channel a while back, and then we connected through, uh, I can't think of the, that website, that card website that we kind of connected through, but then he st he got, got on Twitter, or had been on Twitter, and then I got on Twitter, and then we kind of started communicating that way, and then he just recently started a channel. Huge Braves fan, huge Jason Hayward fan. Really good kid. Y'all go check him out. Give him a sub. He deserves it. And then also, uh, another guy that I've been watching a lot of his videos lately, a huge Rangers fan, A Sills Cards is his channel name. And again, I'll leave the link below for both of these guys. Go check them out. They make quality videos. Really uh, enjoy the hobby, which is all that uh, you can really expect when people are making these videos and showing their cards. Is as long as they enjoy it, and then I enjoy watching them show it off. So go check those guys out if you want to improve your YouTube experience. Both of them uh, deserve the subs and would love to interact and meet new people I'm sure so go do them a favor and yourself a favor by giving them a sub but that's it that's my video I uh, always appreciate you guys watching should have some more things coming in so hopefully I'll have a video soon uh, pretty much 100 percent on going to the national this year getting a ton of balls signed again like I did last year gonna stay away from the cards for the most part and just stick with uh, getting some autographs and trying to hang out and meet as many people as I can again. Won't be there for very long. I'm going to have to make it a short trip. Just because work is so busy, I pretty much got to fly in late one night and stay for a day. And then the next day, just fly back out. But try to make the best of it. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.